You can live in a car, but you can't race a house. Today, we're gonna to test that theory. Ethan built this Focus to be a micro camper for our SC500 trip last year, and it was sh So, two weeks ago, today's sponsor, EcoFlow, gave Ethan a budget of 500 pounds and a Delta II power station to turn the Focus into a real micro camper. Today, we're gonna to test his creation, and maybe I'll have my own camper to test it against. Let's go. Can you believe this thing is still around? You've taken the rally lights off. It looks very much the same. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of disappointed. Yes, yeah, Millennium Edition. Oh, you wanted to preserve the outside exactly. of it. Oh, I yeah, saw yeah, how yeah. silly of me. <laughs> oh, I still got the old battle wounds. Yeah. Get away, anyway. You're not allowed to see Am it. Am I not? No, no. I will show you later. Anyway, this uh, seat's one, so you're going to have to go to something else. Yeah, Edwin's actually bringing me my camper. Oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, you'll see. It's good. See, my argument is that instead of making a camper, why not just take any car and throw a roof tent on it? That way you can throw on something stupid like Edwin's Daily. Oh yes, it is so good to be back in the banana wagon. This car has covered the entire length of the UK, and I mean the entire length. And some of you may remember that I actually made this into a tiny little micro camper. It wasn't, it wasn't much, but it had a bed and a couple of other bits to it. But now I've gone all out with this. This is a fully fledged micro camper. But when we get to that campsite, I will reveal all. This is good. I can see why Edwin wants to run around in this daily. I mean, I will not have to pay for like the 20 mile per gallon fuel economy, but it sort of is worth it with the way that it makes you smile. I mean, Edwin has done some bits on this. It's got new Bilstein shocks all around it, and then the front has got lowering springs as well to give it more rake. Also, I think the flash in the car's computer is deteriorating, and it's thrown up a load of codes for the gearbox. It's turning ones into zeros, so the car thinks that there's sensors there that they're just they just aren't. How is this not better though? An eight series with a roof tent. What's this car like to drive? All right, we've got a corner here, so I'll show you. We go down to third. Yeah, I mean, it goes around a corner. How are you enjoying this little south east corner of England drive. I'm grinning ear to ear in this thing. Have you told all the viewers about everything that's wrong with it? Yeah, I'm not trying to hide anything from them. Uh, do you want me just to sit in this traffic for 10 minutes? Will that that be good for you? Oh uh, well, yeah, thank you for reminding me, Ethan. I had forgot to mention that uh, this thing is a liability and is able to overheat at any moment. <laughs> Unable to agree, we made our way to the campsite. Made it. I only overheated like a thousand times as well, which is good. <laughs> there was one section in town we weren't filming, but Jack was losing his <laughs> mind. I lost my call. <laughs> Side of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see this? Yeah. More than anything in the world. I want to see what you've done. Well, let, me get, let, well, let me set it up. Give me 20 minutes and then you 20 can... Yeah, 20 minutes? Well, one of the good things about this is it's ready to go, is it not? You've got 20 minutes, you've got to set it up. All right, race you. I'll give you 20 minutes. You do your thing. I remember these being quite simple. They are. Charlie from Latitude Tents gave me a, uh, an instruction on it. I'll be honest, I was more excited to see the car, so I wasn't paying any attention to it. So what, this comes off and I just sleep under this? Yeah, that's yeah, that's your duvet. It's like a bib for your car, for those real messy journeys. Yeah, and then you lever. Yeah. This is what it's about. You don't want to be in a bloody focus, do you? They're not 10 pegs. No, these are the, these are the prongs. What are they prong? Good question. I know where they go, Edwin. I've seen it, I've sussed it. It's really easy when you know how. You just put a thing in a hole, and then you put another thing in another hole. Much like most of life's mysteries. Look at that. I would say, apart from the pop-up tents that you get, this is the easiest tent to put up. What is that, four minutes? If that. Ethan's still trying to get out of his car, like. <laughs> this is pretty much it, this, this is all you need. I'm ready, I'm ready for bed. What time is it, four? Perfect. Also, I like that you're choosing to sleep sideways when... <laughs> well, the trouble is, because we're parked on somewhat of a hill, if I sleep any other way, I fear all the blood will pull in the back of my skull and I'll die in the night. But look, you get it. We're up, we're rolling. We're up, we're, we're in done. a tent. We're in a tent. And it's any car you want it to be. Can I just remind people, it's on an eight series. It's stupid. Should we see how uh, Ethan's getting on? I'm very excited to see what sort of additions he's made to his already bad camper. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. What are you doing? Helping each other out. 
That's what camping's about, is it not? Do you want to come see the Focus? <laughs> there's no way. There's no way yours is better than this. Oh, he's confident. Oh, he's confident. Let's yeah. Have it. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at this thing. Main event, big tent to fill. I'm nervous. I've put a lot of hours into this. Really? Yeah. How yeah, many yeah. do you reckon? I reckon three or four days total time spent. Three eight hour days. Yeah. So 24 hours. 25. That, 25. A yeah, nice even hours. 25. Bonnet has changed okay. mechanically. A few things have been done. This front spring snapped in two places. Okay. Where was it? <laughs> you got the joke. We had some welding done. Always okay. fun. My mechanic friend Tyler, he did all the springs and he did uh, the alternator and bits. I up remember there. the alternator. Yeah, yeah do you remember that was cutting out the, the best yeah. C five hundred. Any overheating issues? Oh yeah, okay. you went into that rock. Yeah. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, actually, to be fair, this is this field's a little bit of a dangerous territory for you. Uh, yeah, you're right. There's, there's a bush over yeah. there, man. <laughs> Might be a rogue, rogue granite in it. <gasps> is, that, is that a living room? You have a screen. Yo, it's got Mario Kart. <sighs> this is good, man. Oh, so a switch. How's this? Where are you getting? Is it, have you put the eco flow in here? The eco flow is in there. Okay. It's it's cool. an actual game changer. Wait, is this mounted on a proper stand so you yeah. can move it? <laughs> when we're in the rear quarter, if whilst we're cooking, we can watch telly. Okay. Well, I've, well, I've got. I'll <laughs> tell you what. Yeah. Solid start. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. And also, when you when you go to bed, you can just. How are they? How are they attached? They're magnets. That's really good. This is quite good. This is quite good. This is quite. Cool. You've got a living room. What's, what, what's this? Oh yeah, sorry, that's storage. Oh, you got a little oh, hatch. Yeah. Is that dual action. Let's see if we can get some of the green off. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, that this will power. Yeah. So everything's run off the same. So th currently, there's three things running off the eco flow. Jesus oh, yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who came to this retreat for a nice little camping retreat just hearing. <laughs> <laughs> As a coffee machine, <laughs> and there's some tools under here. I like that you have a latch that just does not latch to anything. Yeah, that's just a handle. Oh, it's just a handle. <laughs> Perhaps to the the kitchen. Yes, please. No, carry on. Carry thing. on, please do. Oh my okay. word, what is oh, happening? Oh, tell me that lift. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. That's so god. good. <gasps> Hold on. Are those my mum's curtains? Yeah, those are your mum's curtains. Yeah. Yes. They've <laughs> come back. So there's a couple of hints around the car of things we've reused. I tried to reuse as much of the wood as possible. All the wood in it, by one sheet of plywood, is recycled or reclaimed. Sick. Yeah. I'm getting real um, farmhouse country kitchen yeah, uh, vibes yeah, off yeah. of this. You could sell this to some posh person in London for many millions of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you got your veggies as well. I like that you learnt from last time by sticking things down. So the TV can swing round. Oh yeah. Would you to, like to to us? I want to see. I've got to see how this goes. So you swivel that through. Oh. Swivel that round. This and is kind of good. And then and you it, bend it up. Okay. Whilst you're cooking. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I've also got a couple of camping chairs in here, so we can sit there, play Mario Kart outside. Here's the sink. Okay. The sink. Well, the sink is a bottle of water and a washing up bowl. Here's my eco flow. This is powering everything. Fridge. Would you care for a drink? Yo. Oh, <laughs> yo! Before we carry on with the video, we want to thank this week's sponsor, EcoFlow. Not only would we not be able to make videos like this without them, but we wouldn't even be able to get this shot right now. Their Delta 2 power station is powering this screen, it's charging our phones, it's doing these lights, it's doing the light that's lighting us, it's powering this DA right now. This one kilowatt hour battery gives you 1800 watts of power, which is equal to running a PS5, five computer monitors, a microwave, a full sized fridge, and a washing machine all at the same time. And you can run most of them at the same time because it's got four main style AC outlets, four USB A ports, two USB C ports, and even a cigarette lighter port. The Delta II is not just a battery. With extreme charging technology, you can recharge to 80% in just 50 minutes. The 220 watt solar panels mean you can recharge from absolutely anywhere. Charging the Delta II back to 100% in just a few hours of sunlight, all while monitoring its progress from your phone. The Delta II is also expandable with the Smart Extra battery or the Delta Max battery, giving you over three kilowatts of battery when combined. And because it weighs only 12 kilograms and is only 40 centimeters long, you can take the Delta II anywhere you need with ease. If you want your very own Delta II to power your next adventure, hit the link in the description below. Then round here, this is the bedroom area, I right. like to call it. The that bed is, is not your bed. That's oh. my bed, yeah. <laughs> that is not your bed. Yeah, the bed goes along there. No, there's not, there's not, there's not your bed. What does it do? It folds out or something. Have you ever watched those uh, uh, cave diving splunking videos where they're like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's going to be Ethan at 11 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Your mattress, which 
I mean, it's pretty rich to call it the mattress. You're sleeping on wood. I think the bed's become an afterthought at this you, point. Well, no, you'll see why the bed is at such a height okay. later on. Can I open this? You can open that. You have sacrificed the, your comfort sleeping for these boxes. <laughs> for a football. <laughs> for a football. No, look. Can you imagine how much more space you'd have <laughs> if you, you just made it this short? No, but you're not listening. Wait till later. Okay, just, okay, okay. There's a reason it's this height. Behind the boxes is the shower. Well, let's have a look in this toolbox first. Very, Very nice. nice. <laughs> uh, this is the shower tent. So imagine uh, a tent come portaloo. Oh, do you I, shit I, in I, this? I, I, Ethan, I'm not being funny, mate. That cupboard is massive. <laughs> Why have you made that cupboard so big? <laughs> it's a coffin. There, there is so much dead space in here. It's absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> Why? Can you hear my <laughs> yeah, I can't. putting my head in here? <laughs> so I'm not a nutritionist, right. but I think you need a more varied diet than this, <laughs> if I'm honest. Where'd you go number two? Toilet. I don't like that this is about to open the front vas seat for this. <laughs> <laughs> Voila. Oh my god. It's in the frame of the seat. You can recline and you can put the seatbelt on. You can recline! <laughs> Incredible, oh my Jack, god. if you please. Yes, yes, no, please, yeah. <laughs> so you have to shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the nautical theme, the rope around the bottom. Yeah, that's just like, that. just to tidy it up a little bit. It's a little bit. design element. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really nice. So what sort of toilet is this? Is this just a, is this just a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> that's an eco toilet. I don't know what that means. It's also the most dangerous toilet in the world. If your airbag goes off, you'll no, You can buckle in though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in a curry. <laughs> There is spare, spare, spare <laughs> little if you need it. There Sorry. is one more bit. This is the best. There can't be. You can't, one, you can't, it doesn't top that. It's, it's like, one more bit. <laughs> At the end of a hard day, and you just want to chill out. <laughs> is that a deck chair? <laughs> incredible. Oh my word. You can just. Absolutely. You can incredible. just chill out. You can just chill out. That is. At first, when you said 24, 25 hours, I was about to be like, well, I'm going to report this to HR for, for time, <laughs> yeah. time wasting. But good God, is I, this good? I think there's at least 25 hours of just planning. <laughs> the reason the bed is so high is because the frame of it goes on top of the passenger seat, which allows for the toilet to be uh, there. So what do you do? Of I wanted a toilet in there. Of course. But right, um, you've got to compromise somewhere. You do. Yeah. Right, I think there's only one thing left to do. That's, that's us seeing you get into bed, please. Disclaimer, I've only managed to get into bed on my front so far. <laughs> okay, okay, right. You've got this. I'll yeah. straighten you out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there you that's, go. That's it. Now you got to shift yourself yeah. over. If you're good with your toes, you can whip yourself a midnight <laughs> sandwich, though, can't you? <laughs> Look, I'm in, aren't I? Um, right, how do I get out? Yeah, that's your best bet, isn't it? Yeah, and then, and then... Ladies and gentlemen, the inventor of the focus cover. <laughs> Mr. Ethan Smale. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, that looks way more comfortable than your bed. <laughs> wow, Eve. The right. micro camper. Right, right. I, can't, I can't wait to see this in action. Yeah. I can't right, wait dinner? to see. Yeah. Are, we dinner? Are you yeah. going to whip up some food? Yeah, I've got to fire up the hob. With me hard at work setting up for dinner, Jack was busy cooking up his own meal. Do I need a giant chocolate chip cookie as well? No, we're camping. We're camping. <laughs> I'm running out of charge. Can you put my phone in charge? I would, but I've got... You've got yeah. a million devices plugged into that thing. I'm playing Vice yeah. City while you're cooking on an induction <laughs> hob. You've got room for me to put you, my phone if, in. If you want to turn this off and put your phone on, you can. Wow, what a time. Mummy smile here. If you finish your Vice City, you can have some charge. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just some dinner? Yeah. yeah. I think Jax is on the way. On the way? I might as well be at home if I'm honest. <laughs> so you've, you've ordered a takeaway and you're playing Vice City. That's not camping. It may look like that. Can I get a steak? If I should say that, I've got steak. Of course you do, it's camping. Yeah, everyone's got Vice City and steak. <laughs> <laughs> Is this all out the kitchen container in, in storage? <laughs> On the bottom bunk. Look, I can't see you doing this with your roof tent. Right, let's make steak. Let's go golfing. Oh, the, he's here. Let's is go. He here? Okay, Let's go in the A3. Meet him. Oh, mate, are you are you delivering? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's us. Look at this. Camping. Camping. <laughs> we are the worst campers. This in is the, the world. worst. I, I want to make it clear. I don't usually camp like this. Back at camp, I was busy cooking a few steak sandwiches in the boot of my 23-year-old hatchback. Right now, this is crunch time. A hob of the Eco Flow. Oh yeah. That's what good onions sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That is a good steak sandwich. We just whipped up steak sandwiches at the back of a Focus. <laughs> mm. <laughs> When you say it like that, I want to put this down. <laughs> I think we need to start a restaurant. But we'll just out the back of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's called In Focus. It's called Boat Sandwiches. <laughs> Dinner finished, Edwin and I decided to engage in some standard campsite activities. What the bloody hell is that noise? What on earth are you doing? You're DAing. Yeah, I can see you DAing, mate. Oh, focus on that bit there, yeah, focus on that. Is this normal camp activity? Listen, we said this is home away from home. You do detailing at home. All they can talk about over there is these two nutters I've read DA in. Focus shining, I decided to go to bed, but Ethan wasn't quite ready to turn in just yet. That piece of shit has rolled his driver's seat all the way forward and he's just kicking back with some Mario Kart. I've got the perfect view of him having a really good time in there all on his own. <laughs> right, I'm going to sleep. I'm from the Middle Ages or some shit. All right, good night. We're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, guys, with this one. The <laughs> pillow good. fell off about every 20 minutes. But other than that, a good night's sleep? Um, no, because I'm on the incline as well. So I feel like I'm just sliding all the time. Oh, God, I slept so well. So, so well. I can't even tell you. This is about all I've managed so far. Oh, oh. oh words cannot describe the dizzying heights I'm experiencing now after such a pleasurable sleep. <laughs> Whereas Ethan, I could hear screaming in discomfort purely from laying down. Do you feel well rested? Do I feel well rested? I feel like I've been asleep for a thousand years. <laughs> Let me sleep in there. Go on, just for a bit. Let me have a bit of sleep. Imagine me slamming a door right now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Considering Ethan was so well rested, I decided that he should make us all breakfast. That's the best Ford Focus boot bacon sandwich <laughs> I've had today. I'd do well at a car boot. Do you know what? This sandwich is almost perfect, but Ethan bought <laughs> sugar and salt free tomato ketchup, tarnished by that disgusting red sauce. With that, we finished breakfast, brushed our teeth, DA the focus and got back on the road. What a beautiful stay that was. Campsite was nice, stunning views all around and our little south coast road trip. And I love this car. Oh, I tell you, I feel so well rested. Honestly, that was such a good night's sleep. As far as camping goes, I was up there with one of the sleeps of all time. Only thing is now I really want one of these, an eight series, and I also really want one of these, a roof ten. The sleep was not good, it's too tight. So if I was to change something, it would be the bed. I wish I did have that roof ten. That is just so good. The only thing that would have been nice, if I had the extras that he had, if I had the power to be able to cook, if I had a little bit of entertainment, I don't need a toilet on the passenger seat, that one I can go without. But as far as having a car that you actually want to drive and the ability to get a good night's sleep, I think I'm definitely winning. He's done a bloody good job though, it is home away from home. Well, mm -hmm. sort of. You can go anywhere in the country in this yeah. and feed yourself, feed me most yeah. importantly, do everything but get a good night's sleep. As the current setup, I can't do anything but get a good night's sleep. I've provided you with so much, you've provided me with nothing. That describes our whole relationship pretty much, <laughs> doesn't it? That's a very good summary, this yeah, is yeah. a good metaphor. It is, really. this really sums it up. <laughs> a shout out to EcoFlow for sponsoring and setting us a challenge for this video. Wouldn't have been possible without this. I definitely wouldn't have had my bacon sarni this morning without, without an EcoFlow. There's a link in the description if you want to grab one for yourself. Click here if you want to watch more videos. Down here if you want to subscribe. Toilet? I need to give this toilet a whirl. Let me show you to it.